always be growing. When you take a look at a stagnant pond, it develops bacteria, it gets contaminated, whereas opposed to a flowing river, it's always in motion, and therefore it can remain vibrant, full of life. And that's the essence of life. That's the essence of progress. Everything's gotta be in motion or else you're letting it decay. So that's why you need to come to events like this. You need to constantly be feeding your mind, just like you feed your body several meals a day. You gotta be feeding your mind with books, seminars, all kinds of educational resources so that you can expand your brain, you can expand your thinking, and you can expand and increase your quality of life. Now, something that we are obviously trying to do here is break through fears. And a lot of people come from the idea of acting in spite of fear. And a lot of self-help gurus, for instance, will talk about you having to do it anyway, despite feeling something inside you that has total resistance. And the idea is that yes, you wanna be able to build courage, but it's not going to be a game that you wanna play for the rest of your life. Managing fear is wonderful, but I'm in a quest to eliminate the fear. And the only way to do that is by transferring it into goodness, by finding deeper reasons behind why you're feeling the fear. And that's ultimately how you can have a real breakthrough, not just intellectually understanding something. Because you can understand lots of things, but until you resolve the conflict, you'll never feel it in your gut. And that's ultimately what you want. When your gut, your heart, and your mind are all acting together in alignment. The intellect of your mind to be calculated, to be deliberate, your heart to have the intentional will to act and your gut to feel like it is right. When all those are in alignment, you are in total harmony. And that's how you can really be the best version of yourself. That's how you could grow into the best you. So again, it's not in acting in spite of fear. It is finding a deeper reason why you're feeling the thing and using it to actually help propel you, to help launch you. You know, Steven Seagal, for instance, is a guy who, who studied Aikido, a martial arts discipline, where every attack exposes a weakness. And you could take that punch and you could use it to launch the person across the room, right? The power of momentum. So that's exactly what you do with fear. You don't stop it by trying to, you know, grab it and not use the momentum. Oftentimes, you'll just hurt your hand doing that. But if you could use it, you could take it wherever you want. You could dance with the fear. And that's ultimately the quest that you should be on in life. By transferring the fear into goodness to find the love in your heart. And that's going to be a journey that you're going to have to be on for the rest of your life. The way to make a real breakthrough in life and to crack through those fears is by being around people who have already broke through them, for instance. Exposure is key. Proximity gives you a different kind of perspective. When you're around people who are at an elevated level than you, who expect more out of themselves, who are totally congruent, then you resolve the conflicts in your brain so that you can ultimately feel that congruency within you, why it is a better life. So that's why we are on a path of progression. I hope that you choose to be on this path of progression. That's why me and Brandon are here. We're constantly growing with seminars, with events, and now it's on you to join up to things that we offer. Or get a mentor, it doesn't have to necessarily be me, but you need to be held accountable to you growing into the best you, and that means transferring any kind of negative energy inside you, any kind of fear, any kind of hate, anger, resentment, and you find a deeper meaning to be able to unlock your true self, and that is by transferring it into goodness.